So when we have monomials, it's going to be things like 3x to the second power. Actually, let me make that, I'm going to do that to the third power. And 6x squared. I need to take apart both of those things. I'm going to pause recording while I'm doing this because I'm not going to start it over. If you are just watching to recognize your own learning style, you cannot turn and talk during this because that disrupts others. You're just watching. Thank you. Now, what I'm going to need to do is break this up into all of its factors. 3 is already prime. So when I write the x or the uh, factors of 3x to the third, that's equal to 3 times 3x's. Where did I get the 3x's? Because it's x to the third. Then I'm going to break up 6x squared. If this was 18 or 24, I might do a birthday cake, but it's just 6, and I know that the prime factors of 6 are just 2 and 3. So I'm going to do 2 times 3, and then 2x's. What are my common factors? I have a 3, and I have 2x's. So the GCF of 3x to the third and 6x squared is 3x squared. Thumbs up if that oh. makes sense. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to do one more, <clears throat> and then I'm going to give you time to do a little practice on this. We're doing 4x squared and 5y to the third. What's the prime factors of 4? <clears throat> 2 times 2 times... Okay. What's the prime factors of five? Five times five times five times five. What do they have in common? Nothing. Yeah, they don't really have anything in common except the number one. One. We leave the one out because one is a factor of everything. But if you're circling nothing. It's going to be 1. So the GCF of 4x squared and 5y to the third is 1. Okay? Let's try a little bit of practice on that before we move into our next idea for chapter 8. This time in your book, same page, I want you trying numbers 13, 14, and 15. 13, 14, and 15, I'm going to give you six minutes. That's two minutes per problem. Go.